Wagwan, my name is Jermaine and welcome to Picatude. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a personalized baby sippy cup. So here you see me using an exacto knife, cutting to shape the image that was printed in reverse to be mounted onto the substrate, which is in this case a sippy cup. So the footage was spread up here. So now that the image has been cut to size, I'm now going to tape it onto the sippy cup. Seeing that we'll be placing the mug in an oven, you want to make sure that you remove the cap or the cover as it's made of plastic and contains rubber. Here you see me putting the image along the mug and we'll use heat resistive tape to tape it in place. So I'm just making sure that it's perfectly aligned now I'm using the heat resistive tape to secure it in place. So I'm using two pieces of tape. You can use how many you please as long as you think it's perfectly secured. Now you see me putting the mug inside of a shrink sleeve. I'm going to use a heat gun to make sure that it creates the pressure that it needs to make sure sublimation takes place. So here you see me using the heat gun and as you can see the shrink sleeve is shrinking to make sure the required pressure is met for sublimation. Alright, so now that the shrink sleeve has now been shrunk, I want to take this and put it in the oven. Here you see me putting the mug in a convection oven. You will also see me have a thermometer inside of the oven because I want to make sure the temperature is accurate. And this is going to be done at 375 degrees for six minutes. The footage has been cut to where the time elapsed. So this won't be the full duration of the six minutes. Now you see me taking the mug from the oven and that will cut away the shrink wrap and remove the image that was printed in reverse and has now been sublimated onto the mug. So I'm just closing, um, putting back the rack inside of the oven and closing it. So here you see me peeling away the shrink wrap and in a minute you will see me taking off um, the image that was taped onto the mug. So I'm just using a knife to gently cut away the tape to reveal the final um, printed image. So because I was using that one hand, I was having a little bit of trouble you know, to hold the image up to the camera. So thanks for watching. Please consider to subscribe, share this video with a friend, and let us know what you think in the comments.